Hello dear traders and investors, today is Tuesday, June 14th and I'm here with a fresh market review prepared for InstaForex. I have decided to cancel my bullish scenario on gold and I will explain why. Let's have a look at the chart. I bought gold on the third wave just as I planned earlier. After the date on the US inflation was issued on Friday, it was logical to assume that the instrument will continue its rally. However, nothing like this happened yesterday, so I closed my buy positions near the breakout of the daily low as I considered it a signal for a decline. As traders say, trade what you see, not what you think. From what I can see on the D1 chart, there was a good signal for going long and everyone, including me, rushed to buy gold. I even had three profitable trades here, however, yesterday the price of gold plunged. I will describe the situation as an engulfing pattern. I should say that this was one of the most difficult days for gold in many months. On Monday, gold registered a drop of 5,500 points on the candlestick body. The last time this happened was in February this year. Since May, gold has been recovering, but the trend changed sharply yesterday. Therefore, I prefer to stay short on gold at the moment. In this case, the nearest downboard targets will be the earlier lows of 1,775 and 1,675 US dollars per troy bonds. Now I really hope for a pullback which we can calculate using the Fibonacci grid. A pullback toward the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement will be a good moment to open short positions. By the way, tomorrow the Fed will announce another rate hike, uh, rate hike sorry, of at least 50 or even 75 basis points. I would advise traders to look for reversal patterns on lower time frames. So I can conclude that the bullish run on gold has come to an end. As for the euro dollar pair, it is also losing ground and is heading for the low of 2016. I can say for sure that stop loss orders set by the bulls will be triggered very quickly. I would recommend waiting for a downward signal on lower time frames or refraining from opening buy positions with the stop loss set here. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pay is extending its decline amid pessimistic news. Overall, a strong downwards movement is in a place. No reversal pattern can be observed on both weekly and daily charts. The US dollar is displaying an upside dynamic which is likely to continue at least until Wednesday. The picture will become clear after the Fed announces the rate hike. The dollar yen pair is slowly moving up. I would like to remind you that the yen has recently retested the <coughs> sorry, retested the level of 135 against the dollar. During the American session, there was a slight breakout of this level. Anyway, the pair may continue these atoms. That's all for today. Hope to see you online soon. Bye bye.